Hi everybody, my name is Dan and welcome to my kitchen for another delicious yummy episode of Man Cake. I'm thinking you guys are gonna love this recipe. Today we're making my blue velvet cheesecake. It just has that wonderful flavor of red velvet that we all know and love and it's delicious cheesecake. All the ingredients we're going to be using today are going to be down below in the description along with that subscribe button and that little bell so if you ring that you can stay up to date on brand new weekly recipes. Now before we start be sure to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Now let's get started on this delicious yummy blue velvet cheesecake. In our mixing bowl we're going to add three eight ounce bars of cream cheese softened, and one and a half cups of white sugar. Now with our hand mixer on a medium low speed, we're gonna mix our cream cheese and our sugar for about a minute, minute and a half until they're both really well incorporated. Once that's mixed, we're gonna add four eggs, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, a cup of sour cream, a half cup of buttermilk, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of white vinegar, and a couple of drops of blue food gel coloring. Now with our hand mixer on a low speed, we're gonna mix these ingredients for about a minute and a half, two minutes, until everything is really well combined and incorporated. And we have that nice blue color. And there is our amazing blue velvet cheesecake batter. Now let's go ahead and move that to the side and start working on our crust. In another mixing bowl, we're gonna add one and a half cups of crushed graham crackers, one tablespoon of white sugar, and a quarter cup of melted butter. And then we're just gonna mix these all together real quick. Now with our crust done, let's go ahead and move this into our springform pan. Lined with some parchment paper for easy removal. And then we wanna go ahead and just use our hands and press our graham cracker crust all around the bottom of the pan and as close to the sides as possible, get it nice and firm and a nice, sturdy, yummy crust. Now with our crust done, let's go ahead and add in that amazing blue velvet cheesecake batter. And there is our delicious blue velvet cheesecake. Mm. It looks so, so, so appetizing. But we gotta do the bake. So let's pop this in the oven that we preheated at 325 degrees and let that bake at that temperature for 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes is up, you wanna reduce the heat to 300 degrees and bake for a full one hour or until the center is nice and firm but still has a nice kind of, nice little jiggle to it. You know, it's just a, a jiggle jiggle. So our one hour is up and our cheesecake is still in the oven. We wanna turn the oven off and let the cheesecake naturally cool down for 30 minutes in the oven. After that 30 minutes, pop it out of the oven and let it cool in the room temperature for another 30 minutes. After that 30 minutes is up, you wanna cover that with some saran wrap and chill in the refrigerator for eight hours. I know, 
eight hours. But if you've seen my other cheesecake recipes videos, you, you know I tend to be very impatient and slice into things really fast and then it kind of just becomes like a, a cheesecake mess. So let's give it the full eight hours to chill and really firm up like a delicious, yummy cheesecake. But in YouTube land, that's like right now. So with our cheesecake fully chilled out for eight hours and nice and firm, let's go ahead and start on our cream cheese topping. In a mixing bowl, we're gonna add three ounces of cream cheese and a quarter cup of butter. Now with our hand mixer on a medium speed, we're gonna blend the cream cheese and butter together until they're nice and combined. With our butter and cream cheese nice and smooth and blended together, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Follow that with two cups of sugar, but not all at once. We wanna gradually add it into the, the butter and the cream cheese. I like to do it like a half a cup at a time. So think of it as half a cup, give it a mix, half a cup, give it a mix, half a cup, mix, half a cup, mix, half a cup, mix, half a cup, mix. And still, <laughs> there's a lot of half, I, I know that was more than two cups, but you get the point. You wanna add your powdered sugar gradually in and start mixing until your cream cheese frosting is nice and smooth. Now, let's go ahead and add this to our cheesecake. So I've added our cream cheese frosting in a piping bag to kind of give some little rosettes around the border, but you can also take it and just spread it on top of your cheesecake, like a nice little cream cheese blanket on top. You know, whatever you'd like to do, is completely up to you. This cheesecake is gonna be so good either way, especially with the cream cheese frosting. It does not matter on how it gets there. And at the end of the day, it's just cheesecake. Blue velvet cheesecake, but it's still just cheesecake. And let's follow it up with a sprinkle of crushed graham crackers. And once you're done topping with crushed graham crackers, you will have your delicious and just perfect blueberry cheese, or, <laughs> blue velvet cheesecake. Just, mm, it looks so good. I know you guys are gonna love this and definitely can't wait to see your blue velvet cheesecake creations. But in the meantime, let's do our taste test. Mm. Just look at that fun, amazing blue color. Mm. Get some of this frost in here. Mm. Come on, there we go. This blue velvet cheesecake is absolutely divine. I, I think I may have outdid myself today if I do say so myself. Mm. But definitely let me know. Make your own blue velvet cheesecake. You guys are gonna love this. I know it. And share it with your friends because it's mm, plenty to go around. One more little bite. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and make this delicious, amazing, and divine blue velvet cheesecake. You will not regret it. And share it with your friends. 
and share it with me. Give a tag on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or, you know, all the social places. Until next week, bye.